going up against Uptown Frankie Capone somewhere at ringside. You'll see his cronies, Python and Wild Child Michael Todd. You saw them here last week getting a big, big tag team victory. And there you see the referee for this match. He's no mud baby, but he is the mullet and quite a ladies man. He's Richie Rich. Now, Justice and Frankie Capone just returned from a very successful tour of England, which I think I've been saying for two months now, but I'm going to milk it for everything I can. And they start out hot and heavy. Frankie Capone with a shoulder tackle. Frankie Capone's one of those short, compact, very tough individuals. He's not known as, look at a cartwheel, Bam Bam Bigelow style by Justice. Nice move there by Justice. And here you see, that looks like he's trying for a hip toss, but he misses. Uh, and they're one of his own there. Nice takedown by Justice. And speaking of hot and heavy, they did go at it hot and heavy. I haven't seen anything like that in IPW since the first time Phil Lacio met Shannon Rose. Now, Frankie Capone just come in licking his lips after having a nice chicken sandwich at Missy's Diner at 5004th Street, North St. Pete. And he would be full except for his great cardiovascular conditioning. He's out there with Michael Todd and Python running around in the parking lot of the WrestlePlex. And he's not blown up. And here he comes in the ring with justice he's just getting started i tell you uh frankie capone here taking the place of mike peskin a former wrestler here as the health freak of ipw and there you see him taking down justice and i tell you that's gotta hurt his back there and he might want to get that checked out ron at abby chiropractic center that's at 1442 west bush boulevard in tampa what do you think ron there's absolutely nothing wrong with his spine he hits a perfectly executed power slam on justice and the mullet's down there for the one two and a half and frankie Capone hits him with a nice, what that thing, a spin kick to the face, I think they call it in the business? I believe so. Okay, a spin kick to the face followed up by a snap suplex. Frankie Capone isn't going to take all kinds of time. He drop kicks him to the back of the neck, and if he can finish him right now, he's going to do it. Ron, are you actually doing play-by-play -play here in an IPW Weekly Recap? Yes, should I talk about something more foolish like maybe the Hardy Boys Nancy Drew Mysteries? Uh, actually, I think we had that scheduled for two weeks, so fans, stay tuned for that. But now Frankie Capone just going fisticuffs right to the head of Justice. The high-flying, the wrestling hasn't seemed to take this guy down. Now he's getting frustrated, just punching him in the face. And there you see Bobby Rogers one more time. This guy's here each and every week taking pictures of IPW hardcore wrestling. Aaron Royal, you sit there and you talk about, look at that beautiful sit-out powerbomb. You talk about Bobby Rogers from FOW. You can't blame the other promoters from around the independent world wanting to come to the Florida WrestlePlex and steal all the talent and steal all the ideas that have made us the number one independent organization in the country today and get UPN the highest ratings they've seen this side of Miss Cleo revisited. I tell you what, Miss Cleo may be big, but IPW quickly becoming a top, top show on UPN 44. As all you fans know, you're here each and every week, and we do appreciate it. And there are a series of kicks and punches to Frankie Capone by Justice. Takes him down. Let's see if he can capitalize right here. He's moved him to the corner. This might be for one of his patented high-flying maneuvers. There he goes with a moonsault. Is he going to go for the three-throat moonsault? It's tres moonsalto. Oh, tres moonsalto, Instead, I'm sorry. Instead, he goes I... for the, what is that, the 270 reverse leg I don't leg know. Drop. He dropped a leg on his neck. Beautiful so. move. Justice is the type of guy that Everyone will... knows what this is. Coming up, Vince, if you've seen him wrestle before, beautiful 450 splash. This could be it. Two, three. The mullet goes for the three count, and that's an upset victory in anybody's book. Justice beating Uptown Frankie Capone right here in the middle of the ring at IPW. I don't think Frankie Capone realizes the match is over. He's bumping like he's getting boots put to him. He's throwing himself to the mat as though he was Jim Cornette throwing some type of tantrum. And Justice is in there flipping around as though he's a member of the Ringling Brothers Barnum and Bailey series. And no fans, that's not Brutus Beefcake at ringside. That is Michael Todd alongside Python. And there you see the mullet Richie Rich getting beat up for making the three count by Frankie Capone. And he's really upset. He's going back to get his Rudy hat from Fat Albert and go cry over a little spilt milk. Fans, we're going to be back here with tag team action in just a couple of minutes. IPW Weekly Recap. IPW Hardcore Recap.